Good morning. This is Pastor Jeff. We're here for our daily lectionary readings. With it being Holy Week, our readings for the week are uh, different. It is like we are in worship every day. So Monday of Holy Week, Year B, March 25th, 2024. Let us listen in to our daily readings. The first reading comes from Isaiah 42, 1 through 9. Here is my servant, whom I uphold my chosen, and whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break, and a dimly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not grow faint or be crushed until he has established justice in the earth and the coastlands wait for his teaching. Thus says God, the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and what comes from it, who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon, from the prison, those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name, my glory, I give to no other, nor my praise to idols. See, the formal things have come to pass, and new things I now declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Our psalm reading today comes from Psalm 36, verses 5 through 11. Your steadfast love, O Lord, extends to the heavens, your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the mighty mountain, your judgments are like the great deep. You save humans and animals alike, O Lord. How precious is your steadfast love, O God. All people may take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house, and you give them drink from the river of delights. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. O come, your steadfast love, to those who know you, and your salvation to the upright of heart. Do not let the foot of the arrogant tread on me, or the hand of the wicked drives me away. Our second reading today comes from Hebrews 9, 11 through 15. But when Christ came as a high priest of the good things that have come, even though the greater and perfect tent, not made with hands, that is, not of this creation, he entered once for all into this holy place, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls, with the sprinkling of ashes of a heifer, sanctifies those who have been defied, so that their flesh is purified, how much more will the blood of Christ, who comes through the eternal Spirit, offer himself without blemish to God, purify our conscience from dead works to worship the living God? For this reason he is the mediator of a new covenant, so that those who are called may receive the promise of eternal inheritance, because of a death has occurred that redeems them from the transgression under the first covenant. Our gospel reading today comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 12, verses 1 through 11. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him, Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume, made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of 
the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of the disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for three hundred denarii and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept the common purse and used to steal what was put into it. Jesus said, Leave her alone. She brought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You will always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. When the great crowd of the Jews learned that he was there, they came not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priest planned it to put Lazarus to death as well, since it was on the account of him that many of the Jews were deserting and were believing in Jesus. Here ends our readings for the day.